Hi everyone, this is Sunny from Database Tech. So today I had come up with one more new session on SQL Server Database. In today's session, I will explain what are SQL commands. SQL commands are classified into below categories. They are DDL, DQL, DML, DCL, and TCL. So these are the categories that we have in SQL commands. Now let's understand them one by one, starting with DDL. So what is DDL? It is a data definition language which defines the type and structure of data. Now what does that mean? As we have seen that DDL which is a category and in this category we use commands like create, alter, drop, truncate. And with use of these commands, we define the type and structure of data. So we call the DDL as data definition language. Now let's understand this practically in SQL Server. For that, let's open SQL Server first. So this is SQL Server. And now I will show you like how we can use of these commands to create and modify the structure of database objects. So let's start. Starting with create command. So with create command, we can create database, we can create table. So let's first create a database. What is the syntax create database test? So we are creating database name as test. Now let's execute this. Command completed successfully. So we had created a database name as test. And if you want to see this database where it is, you can go to the drop down. So here you will find your database name as test. Now let me show you how we can create table using create command. create table test1 inside this we will define some variables id int and name varchar 20 so we had again used this command which is create we are creating a table here and the name of the table is test1. We had defined two variables id and name. Now let's execute this. Command completed successfully. So our table has been created. Now what we are doing here? We are defining the type and structure of the table name as test. So that was possible with the create command and this create command belongs to DDL category. So what it is doing, it is defining the type and structure of database objects. So we are creating a structure here for this test one table. Same we have done for when we create a database. So we are creating a structure here. So that was create command. Now Coming to next command which is alter command. So let's see how we can use alter command. If you want to check the data here from this table, what you can do select star from test1. Although this select command doesn't belongs to this ddl category but if you want to check this data from the table you can use this command later i will show you the like which in which category this select command belongs to but for now you can use this to get the data to pull out the data from the table so we have to check here like how we can use alter command Right now we have only two columns from this table which is 
test one but suppose if you have to add one more column to this existing table what you can do we can use alter command so let's see how we can use alter command and we are again defining the type and structure of data so let's see how we can do that alter table what's table name test one add section var care 20 so what we are doing we are using the alter command and we are adding one more column which is section so here we had defined the data type for the section column we had used one keyword which is add so let's execute this query and see it's working as expected or not command completed successfully and if you have to check the data pull out the data from the table you can use select command you can see now section column has been added to this table which is test one so it is working as expected so now you can you have seen that how we can use alter command to add column to the existing table and you can do some other queries also like if you have to change the data type for the column you can do that as well with the alter command so let's see how we can do that as well you can use alter table test one alter column section int earlier the section the data type for the section column was var care and if you want to check that what you can do go to this test database first refresh here you will find the test database click on this plus icon it will expand and then check tables inside that you will find your table which you have created test one go to the columns and you will find this section column here which is having the data type as var care and you have to change this data type and how you can do that using this alter command you are now changing this data type to int with this query so let's execute this and see it's working or not command completed successfully if you check this query you will not find any difference it is same but when you refresh here you will notice that now the data type has been changed for this section column it is now int so it is working as expected so you have seen now how we can use create alter command now moving to next which is drop so let's see how we can use drop command as well now suppose if you have to remove this section column what you can do you can use the drop command let's see how it works alter table test one drop column section again we are using the alter command but with that we are using drop command as well and you have to provide the column name with this to get this removed from this table so let's see it's working or not command completed successfully now let's check it has been removed from this table or not you can see now it's again two columns so section column has been removed from this table with this you can also use drop command to remove the table from the database if you don't need this table you want to delete this table from the database you can use the drop command as well for that what is the syntax drop table test one 
command completed successfully it has been dropped now when you again execute this query select one you will find invalid object name test one because it has been removed from the database you will not find this anymore so that was drop command now moving to next which is truncate so let's see how we can use truncate command to use this first let's create the table again and in this table what we will do we will insert some data insert into test one values one so insert is again it's not it doesn't belongs to ddl category i will show you this later like in this this command belongs to which category but for now if you need to insert if you want to insert data in the table you can use insert command like this insert into table name and then values we have two variables here in this table so you have to provide two values for id it's one for name it is sunny so execute this here one row affected let's check the data again so you will find the output as below one row has been inserted it is one and sunny now execute this truncate command truncate table test one command completed successfully and to check the data let's check execute this query again select one you will find id and name but data is not there only the structure remains here so what is the difference here between the drop and truncate so let's see that first we will insert the data again here so we have data from this table when we execute this drop command it will remove everything the data as well as structure but when we execute this truncate command it only removes data from the table so structure will remain there see see the difference by own like when we execute this drop command and then when we execute this query again you will find everything has been removed from the database structure as well as data but create this again insert the data and when we truncate this table and then when we execute this query again to check the data you will find structure remains there and data is gone so this is the difference between these two drop and truncate drop removes everything from the table but truncate only removes the data the structure will be there you can again insert the data in this table so that was like ddl category and the commands that we have in ddl category so these commands were used to create and modify the structure of database objects we are not deleting any data individually from this table we are only creating and modifying the structure of the database objects that we have seen so that was ddl now moving to next category that is dql so dql stands for data query language it's used for performing queries on the data it allows getting data from the database and imposing order upon it so in this category what we do we pull out the data from the database and how to pull out the data using select command so we use commands like select to perform queries on the data 
So select command belongs to this category. We had already seen that here. So to pull out when we have to pull out the data from the table, we use select command, which we have seen already. So that was DDL and DQL category. Later sessions, I will show you the remaining categories. But for now, that was it for today's session. We'll come up with the next session shortly. Till then, have a nice day. Bye-bye. Take care. Be healthy, be safe and love your family.